History is made by the people in power. History is made by people who speak out. This has been the worst foreign policy fiasco in American history. And these people were living in a dream world. They thought that power was the power to make other people do what we wanted. Challenging power makes change possible. They will be sorry on the day that they understood that they woke up this sleeping giant called the American people. History is made by those who reveal the truth. I was personally hurt to find out that every reason I was told that I had to go to that country, invade that country, go to war with that country, was false. And the truth is upheld by people of courage. Conscience objection is a right that we have and that is protected not only by army regulation but also by the U.S. Constitution. I'm not a criminal. History is made by people who show up. Democracy is, should be a form of government that the people control, not a bunch of politicians or rich people, all the people. It's not a spectator sport. Participation is encouraged and protected by the U.S. Constitution. The First Amendment proclaims, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. And so one day when they ask us, well, what did you do? And what did you say? And was your voice heard? You would know that as a result of you being here, that you were heard, you did do something, and you were in the beginning of turning this around. In a time of community crisis, the response often changes and defines the community. The terrorist attack on the U.S. in 2001 was just such a defining moment in American history. But it is a crisis that has produced a divided reaction. While U.S. leadership and much of the general populace moved towards war, responding with flag-waving and guns, a somewhat smaller and less recognized citizenry asked for a more measured response. They asked that we consider diplomacy, international cooperation, and a deeper understanding of non-Western points of view. They argued that a preemptive invasion of Iraq was not only illegal under international law, but fundamentally un-American. This is the story of eight Americans. They took to the streets, the halls of Congress, and their individual communities. They were courageous, patriotic, outspoken, and as we now know, prophetic. of us. Did any mother see her son die? And why is this happening? I saw my son die. I was five streets away from the World Trade Center when it collapsed. I knew that my son was there, and I watched from the window of my office as the towers collapsed. There were 3,000 mothers, brothers, sisters, more than 50. 